Welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today and if you do don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet I hope that you will and stick around for a while. Today I am dehydrating zucchini and squash for long-term shelf stable storage. Now I get a lot of zucchini and squash during the summer and most people who have gardens do as well. And these I actually sliced get where I can show you. I actually sliced these a little thicker than I do for noodles. I make zucchini lasagna noodles and I do zoodles and the lasagna noodles of course are planks and these I use usually in casseroles or I make a squash au gratin sort of like a potatoes au gratin and I make scallop squash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these out in my dehydrator trays. Now these are big enough you don't have to worry about them falling through so I am not going to line the trays or anything. I'm gonna lay these out and I'm going to put them in the dehydrator. I use the Excalibur Easy Dry Digital. It's a five tray unit and it has the fan at the bottom so the air blows up through the center. And I will rotate my trays a couple of times while they're, while they're running. Now I have it heating at 135 and as soon as I put these in I'm going to turn it down to 125 because vegetables dehydrate at 125. And these will run anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. I will check them every time I rotate trays. And I'm not seasoning these at all. Now I make chips and those I season when I put them on. But these I'm not going to season. I'm just going to lay them out and let them dehydrate. And one of the reasons I slice these a little thicker than usual is I want to see how they rehydrate for frying. I love fried zucchini. It is one of my favorite things. And since I got an air fryer, I love air fryer fried zucchini. So I want to see how these rehydrate and hold up for frying. So I'm going to get these all loaded on this last tray and I'm going to get them on the dehydrator and get them get the temperature adjusted and get them started. And then once they come off the dehydrator, I will bring you back and show you what's next. Okay, we are back and these have dried and they are absolutely dry. They're crisp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them in a jar and I'm going to condition them. Now these actually ran about 16 hours, but again, these were cut really thick. I sliced them for frying, not for chips. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them in a jar and I'm going to condition them, which means I'm going to leave them sitting out where I can see them and at least once a day and usually twice a day I'm going to check inside the, check the inside of the jar and make sure that there is no moisture forming, no cloudy spots, no beads of moisture, anything like that. If I see that then I will put them back on the dehydrator for a few more hours and start again basically. Um, but as long as there's no moisture left in them in about three or four days, I will add these to the gallon that I have in my pantry. Now, these I sliced thicker than normal and I'm actually thinking I'm going to start a different jar for them um, because I want to rehydrate these and fry them or I want to try rehydrating them for frying them. I slice them and use them in casseroles and I make a au gratin squash zucchini casserole that I use these for a lot. Um, but I really prefer them fried. So in a few days, once these have conditioned and I'm really sure that they are absolutely dry, then I'm going to rehydrate some and I'll do a video. I'm going to rehydrate some and fry them and see how they turn out. And even if they don't work for frying, they'll still work for the casseroles that I make, but I did want to try them for frying. 
So, and then I had a few yellow squash that I put in as well because I want to try those for frying as well. So I'll leave these sitting out and condition them for a few days and then I'm, I'll do a video. I'm going to rehydrate. <clears throat> but a little bit of space, shelf stable storage, no refrigerator or freezer required, and zucchini rehydrates so well. I, I, I dehydrate it for zoodles because I eat a lot of zoodles. I dehydrate it for zoodles and lasagna noodles and then I dehydrate it like this, usually just a tiny bit thinner for casseroles that I make. And I dehydrate chunks to put in soups and stews. So these are for frying and once again I'll do a video in a few days and I'll be sure to post it as soon as I do it. I want to see how they rehydrate for frying. I hope that you enjoyed the video today and if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and feel free to share if you know someone who has an overabundance of zucchini and they're looking for new ways to process them and save them for for the winter and if you haven't subscribed please do if you hit the bell they'll notify you when I upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a great day <laughs>